Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to apply highlighter. I know I have some beginners out there who are watching this and I wanted to kind of cater to you guys today. So let's get right into this video. I just wanna talk a little bit about the different types of highlighters. There are many, many, many different types of highlighters. You can find some in your drugstore, you can find some in your beauty supply, hair stores, you can find some in Sephora, Ulta, stores like that. If you are just starting out with makeup in general, I would always recommend going for drugstore makeup only because you never know how different products are going to work on your skin and you don't want to be spending a whole lot of money. I know when I started out I wasn't interested in spending a whole lot of money on products that I really wasn't sure about and so I found some dope ass drugstore products that worked. I want to say it was probably about seven or eight bucks from Rite Aid. Don't think that you have to go out and purchase a expensive highlighter because it's just not necessary. Some other inexpensive highlighters that I have, I'm missing the lid, but this is the Revolution Vivid Bake Highlighter. I used to use this one. I kind of stepped my game up from the L'Oreal Lumi to this one. This is really one of my favorite highlighters. And I think these are like six bucks from Ulta. I think I got this from Ulta. But this was this one is in the shade Golden Light. This one is in the shade Peach Light. Revolution Makeup makes some really bomb ass highlighters as well for the low, $6 to be exact. However, for those of you who wanna spend a little more on a highlighter, I would definitely, definitely recommend purchasing like a highlighting palette. There are so many out there, but the one that I happen to have in particular, which is also the one that I just did a demo and swatch video on, check that video out. You might've seen a card just pop up on your screen, but it's the wonderful ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. Each of our highlighting glow kits comes with six shades and they retail for about $40. So if you think about it, it's really not that bad because you're getting six highlighters in one. There's so many different highlighter options out there for different budgets. It all depends on what you're willing to spend. But again, like I said, for beginners, I would definitely recommend going with an inexpensive highlighter from a drugstore because you're not wasting that much money if you don't really like it, if you know what I mean. Another highlighter that I'd like to showcase is this one here by Danessa Myricks. Love, love, love Danessa Myricks. I love her work. Follow her on Instagram. She's bomb. Check her out. But she makes some really dope highlighters as well. And actually, I think for the purpose of this video, I am going to be using this highlighter. But this one is a little pricey. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that. So this is her In Light Halo Powder. It's in the shade Angel Wings. And it's very pretty. This highlighter, however, it comes in like a loose pigment form. I don't want to make a mess. As opposed to pressed forms. For instance, the Anastasia Glow Kit highlighters, they're pressed. They're packed down into these pans and they're not going to fall out. It's all a matter of preference. It really doesn't matter. Using the Danessa Myricks highlighter, I'm just going to put a little bit into the top here. So the best areas to highlight is gonna be your cheekbones. Highlighting the cheekbones just brings a nice glow to the face. It also helps to kind of lift your cheekbones a little bit, if you know what I mean. And then when the light hits you, it's just like, bam. And this highlighter in particular is, is just gonna give you that bam. Other areas that people tend to highlight is the tip of the nose. Some people also like to highlight along the bridge of the nose. Along with my cheekbone, I also like to highlight in the temple area. Highlighting the cupid's bow, you might see a lot of people do that. There are many different tools that you can use to highlight. I happen to prefer a fan brush over any other brush. However, there are many people who use, you know, eye brushes or blush brushes to apply highlighter. I'm going in using my fan brush and I'm using a little bit of the Danessa Myricks In Light Halo Powder. I'm tapping off the excess. Again, because this is a loose powder, you want to tap off that excess. I'm taking my fan brush and I'm just going to apply it right to the highest points of my cheeks just like that and as you can see I used very little product but this is how bomb this Danessa Myricks highlighting powder is it's so beautiful I'm just fanning it on that cheekbone right there now if you find that you want a little ham on the highlighter don't be afraid to dig in with your hand and just kind of pat it out I want a little ham right there. Now another area that I said I like to highlight is my brow bone. So I'm taking whatever is left on my brush. Don't really want to put too much under that brow bone so I'm not going to dip back into the powder. But I'm going to take whatever is left and dust it over the brow bone just like that. Just 
gonna blend it out a little bit more with my finger. Another area that I like to highlight in particular is the nose. I'm just using whatever is left on the brush because I don't want to be Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer blinding people. So I'm just using whatever's left on the brush to apply to the nose and also on the Cupid's bow. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more for that Cupid's bow. And so these are the basic areas that people like to highlight. You can see it just gives your skin a nice beautiful glow. And this is actually what I prefer to do when I'm going for like a really glowy look. I prefer to just amp up my highlighter as opposed to using a ton of product to achieve a glowy look like an oil and a illuminating primer and, and a cream highlight under a powder highlight. That's just too much for me. I don't like to use a whole bunch of different products. Instead, I also wanted to use one of the beautiful ABH highlighters in my inner tear duct. And for that one, I'm gonna be going into Lyra here, which is very pretty, and I'm gonna pop that into my inner tear duct. And you can use just a basic blending brush to do this. Also, I'm sorry, something that I forgot to mention, you may see a lot of YouTubers spraying their brush before they apply their highlighter or spraying their face before they apply their highlighter. And basically, I didn't do that because this Danessa Myricks it, it just gives you that bam, you don't need to do that. Basically what that does is it amplifies your highlight a little bit more. It makes it pop a little more for you. So I'm just taking a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus to do that. I'm gonna go right in to Lyra. Just a few dabs. And then I'm gonna apply that right into the inner tear duct. Oh my God, so beautiful. So that's it you guys. These are the basic areas that people like to highlight. I showed you some basic tools that you can use for highlighting. I showed you guys some different types of highlighters that range from inexpensive to higher end. Possibilities are endless. Like I said, if you are just starting out with makeup, I would recommend to start with drugstore so you can kind of see what you like, what works with your skin tone and not have to spend a whole lot of money testing out different things. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And again, I thank those of you who already subscribed. I thank you so much for helping me to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm so itching to post this makeup giveaway video, but I'm waiting for something else to come. It's something else that I ordered for the special winner that I'm waiting to come. And as soon as it come, you better believe I am posting this makeup giveaway. Comment below if you have any questions. If it was something I, you think I missed in this video or if it's something else that I didn't touch on, comment below and I'll go ahead and answer that for you guys. Feel free to check out my last couple of videos here. I would love it if you guys did that. Again, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit that I just did a video on. Watch that if you're interested. I also have a beautiful sunset eye makeup look that I just did not too long ago, so watch that as well. Subscribe to my channel. Bye, babies.